Good afternoon. This is Group 8, representing on learning and meaning construction. When we talk about learning and meaning, what does it mean? It comprises of different kinds of words that construct it. Let's, let's first say ambiguity. Ambiguity. What is ambiguity? Ambiguity or policy of ambiguity is a word, phrase, or statement which contains more than one meaning or is when the meaning of the word or sentence is uncertain. However, sometimes ambiguity is used deliberately to add humor to a test. Example of ambiguity. Let's say, Sarah gave a bath to a dog wearing a black t-shirt. That's an example of ambiguity because the sentence or the statement is not uncertain. Now we we'll move on to vagueness. What is vogue? If I may say, vogue is used where something lacks precision or detail. Vagueness is also defined as the possession of borderline curses. Vogue words are very common on surveys or is mostly used in surveys, if I may put it in that way. A word is vague when it is not obvious to respond respondent or what referent like is falls under the umbrella. For example, consider this question. A question being asked in a survey. As I said, um, as I said, vagueness is mostly used in the survey. So this question is put to you in a survey. How many members of your household do work? That's an example of the verb. We now come down to definition. When we talk about definitions, ask yourself, what is definition? What makes a definition? Let's see. A definition is a statement or is a statement of making meaning of a term. Definitions can be classified into two large categories. Intentional definition and extensional definition. Let's see. Definition can be um, also defined as going further in explaining a term if you need to make it understandable. Example, if you are given a term to explain, then you have to look for words that explains the word into details and so that everyone will understand what the term or what the word actually means. Now we go to use and mention. Use and mention. As the word goes, use and mention. Well, use and mention is not a one word. It's definitely hyphenated. So, something that is used and is also mentioned. Use and mention distinction is a foundational concept of analytic philosophy, according to which it is necessary to make a distinction between using a word or phrase and mention it. Now, we come back to consistency and inconsistency. We say a set of statements is legally consistent if they cannot all be true at the same time. Whilst consistency is about understanding the relationship between your belief and proving a belief true. We have implication. Implication. An implication is something that is, that is suggested or happens indirectly or yes indirect example when you left the gate when you left the gate open and the dog escaped you were guilty by your implication or by implication and also implication has many different senses usually used in the plural implication one effect of consequences that may happen in the future a contingent truth is a true proposition that could have been false. This is sometimes expressed by saying a contingent proposition is one that is true in some possible worlds and not in others. Now moving on to the contingent falsehood, let's highlight contingent and falsehood in order to get the meanings of the meaning of contingent falsehood very well. Contingent can be used to describe something that can occur only when something else happens first. Let's take an example. Making money is contingent on finding a good paying job. When an event or situation is contingent, 
it means that it depends on some other events or facts now to falsehood a falsehood is that statement that distorts or suppresses the truth in order to deceive or it can be termed as the act of lying or making false statements or lack of conformity to truth or facts now in linking it to the continuing falsehood we would say a continuing falsehood is a false proposition that have been true that could have been true this is sometimes expressed by saying that a continuing proposition is one that is true in some possible worlds and not in others an example of a continuing proposition is that proposition that human beings have evolved from other forms of lives equivalence Equivalence is a condition of being equal or equivalent in worth, function, and value. We say something is equivalent to another thing when they are equal in, let's say, worth or value. For example, one dollar is in, is equal or equivalent to five Ghana cities. That means one dollar is worth five Ghana cities. We move on to necessary truth. Necessary truth is a proposition that is true in all possible worlds. For example, we say air is necessary for human survival. That means air, no matter where you go, will be necessary for human survival, without doubt. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. In all worlds, there's no way that uh, air will, uh, 2 plus 2 become 5. 2 plus 2 become 4 in, every, in everywhere you go. Necessary falsehood. Necessary falsehood is a proposition that is false in all possible worlds so uh, i will summarize everything we talked about in this presentation we talked about ambiguity use and mention vagueness implication nasty truth nasty falsehood definitions equivalence contingent truth and contingent falsehood